Hello, in this video, we'll use Python Tools for Visual Studio to create a simple polls application with the Bottle web framework. It will store its data in a MongoDB database on Microsoft Azure, and the application will be hosted in an Azure website. I'll be using Visual Studio 2013 Update 3, PTVS 2.1, including the samples v6, Azure Tools for VS 2013, and Python 3.4. We'll start by creating a new project using one of the samples. The project templates for the samples are installed under Python samples. We'll use Poles Bottle Web Project. We'll pick the option to install the external packages used by the application into a virtual environment. We'll keep the default name and select Python 3.4 as the base interpreter. The option to download and install packages is checked, which means that PTVS will pip install the packages in the requirements.txt once the virtual env is created. Let's make sure the application works. We'll start debugging. By default, the application uses an in-memory repository to store its polls. We can create sample polls and vote on them, but all of the data will be lost when we start the application. Let's create sample polls and vote a few times to see the application in action. Next, we'll create a MongoDB database hosted on Microsoft Azure. In the Azure Management Portal, click New, then Store. There are currently two options for MongoDB databases, one from MongoDB and one from MongoLab. MongoLab offers a free plan, so we'll use that one. Select Sandbox for a free database with up to 500 megs of storage. Enter a name. Select a region and click Purchase. Once the database is created, we can view the connection info in the management portal. We'll save the value of the MongoLab URI for later. We'll now configure the application to use a MongoDB database instead of the default in-memory repository. The application gets its configuration from environment variables, which we can define in the project properties or in the Windows control panel. The debug server command settings are used when you start the application with debugging. The run server command settings are used when you start without debugging. Let's set the values to connect to our MongoDB database on Azure. Paste the value of the MongoLab URI here and set the database name. Now let's start debugging. And this time it's using the MongoDB repository. Let's create some sample polls in the database and vote a few times. RoboMongo is a free application that lets you manage your MongoDB database. First, you'll need to create a connection using the information from the MongoLab URI. Then you connect to your database. You can perform queries on collections and view the documents. RoboMongo has many features that can be very useful when working with projects that use MongoDB. 
Let's look at how to deploy this application to Microsoft Azure. Select Publish. Select Microsoft Azure Websites. I'll click to create a new site. Enter a name. Select a region. Click Create. In the next page, there are two options of special interest. You can choose which configuration you want to publish. If you want to use remote debugging, you'll need to publish the debug configuration. Under File Publish Options, there's an option to remove additional files at destination. If you keep publishing different apps to the same website, you'll want to check this option to make sure there are no leftover files from the previous apps. We'll accept the defaults and click Publish. And when it's done publishing, the website will open automatically in your browser. The application is now running in an Azure website. If you look at the About page, you'll notice it's using the in-memory repository. That's because we need to set the environment variables for the website. In the Management Portal, we'll browse to the website we created. In the Configure page, we can set app settings, which are available as environment variables. We'll set the same values we set in the project properties. And don't forget to save your changes. Start. And then browse. It's now using the MongoDB database. There we have it. Our bottle application is deployed to an Azure website and is using a MongoDB database hosted on Azure. Thanks for watching.